as discussed during the week where we talked about memory, recall refers to recollection of or retrieval of information from the mental storage. Human beings show three prominent types of recall, free recall, queued recall and serial recall. Also psychologists, they have been using meaningful words as well as nonsense syllables as a stimuli in their experiments. And you would see a whole lot of experiments here where both types of stimulus would be used. Free recall refers to the process wherein the person is free to recall the stored information without following any sequence. Look at this lab session where meaningful words have been used as stimulus. Okay, hello. Hi. This is a simple experiment for human uh, uh, memory test okay. and in this, uh, this test is known as free recall test okay. and in this I will um, um, say a few words, mm -hmm. list of words, 24 words. And then uh, after that, I will give you paper pen okay. and you have to recall all those words as okay. many you can and then okay. you just have to write. All right. Okay. If you have any doubt mm -hmm. uh, regarding this uh, listing of words or anything, you can ask me. Okay. Otherwise, uh, the, it's a free recall test. So I won't be helping you in recalling of these words. Okay. okay? So whenever you are ready, mm -hmm. then I can uh, recall, the, uh, re uh, say these words and then okay. you can start. Right. You are ready? Yes. Okay. So, the words are atmosphere, mm -hmm. chemicals, color, current, density, mm -hmm. eclipse, gravity, hurricane, orbit, temperature, radiation, mercury, melt, mm -hmm. observation, precipitation, pollution, space, decay, erosion, axis, evaporate, forecast, liquid and freeze. Okay? So, these were the words which I uh, listed to you. Right. Now, you just have to recall these words and you just have to write these words down on the paper. Okay? That's all. Okay. So, what we, uh, what you just did, mm -hmm. is that I listed some twenty-four words to you, mm -hmm. and here we tested your memory. How many words you can recall? How many words you can save? Um, basic human research uh, with mm -hmm. memory suggests that uh, we cannot recall more than seven words mm -hmm. or store in our um, primary memory. Mm -hmm. And what we see here that you listed uh, only five words. Mm -hmm which is uh, fine, mm -hmm. but uh, this you can um, understand that uh, I listed, uh, I said 24 words mm -hmm. and you just recalled only uh, 5 words. Mm -hmm. But if there is deficiency, mm -hmm. if there is any mem memory impairment, then uh, people cannot recall these words also, okay. not more than 2 words. Is there any cut off where we can say after this number there is some yes, memory deficiency? Yes, 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 we, we do that, uh, we do that, mm -hmm. but uh, then there are some um, several tests. So, this basic okay. test just tests how many normal uh, human or normal mm -hmm. individuals can recall the words. Okay. So, not more than uh, seven words one can recall, mm -hmm. but here uh, you have uh, recalled five words which is fine, which is quite normal. A total of 24 meaningful words were presented to the participant. She was free to recall them in whatever way she could. You saw that she successfully recalled only five of them and that too their orders were completely mixed. She recalled atmosphere, precipitation, melt, mercury and hurricane. And if you look at their serial numbers, atmosphere was the first word, precipitation was the 14th word, melt was 12th, mercury 11th and hurricane was 7th. So, as already discussed, two phenomena are visible in free recall the primacy effect and the recency effect. Recall of items presented at the beginning of the list is an indicator of primacy effect. If the participant recalls items presented at the end of the list first, 
and more often then it is an indicator of recency effect. In the present demo, what you saw was the recency effect. Let us now see another session with meaningful words as well as nonsense syllables. Okay. Now, there will be another set of meaningful words which I will speak out. You have to listen to them and try to remember as many as possible. Cat, gate, fixed, worker, lineman, officers, extortion, statistics. Uh, now, you write down all the words which you remember from the list. In this test, I will show you few nonsense syllables that is syllables which have been put together which do not have any meaning in them and you have to go through them and afterwards you will have to write them up. All right. So, let us start. First is X A T L I Q W X U Z F S S E D N Q H X O P S C W P R I J Z Y S P V P U Y Z L M W D Y R A Q P L S M X N T. Uh, now you have to write down all the nonsense syllables which you can remember from the list. Okay. So please write. Let us now come to queued recall. As the name suggests, queued recall demands that the participant be able to recall the list given a queue from the list of items that is to be remembered. So, the corresponding word has to be presented and then the based on the queue the participant has to recall. So, let us see this lab session where word pairs of meaningful words have been used as stimuli. Okay, this is a simple uh, test to examine human memory okay. using uh, same uh, paper pencil uh, uh, based experiments. So, you will be having digital marker to uh, respond. The test is very simple. It is known as queued recall test. So, in this um, you will be seeing some pair, uh, pairs of word. Okay. Uh, for, for example, blood, money, sunny sky and then I give you a cue to recall the other uh, paired word. Mm. So, for instance, I give you blood. Mm. Now, you know that blood is paired with money. money. So, you have to respond money. Mm. The other word is a sky. So, then you have to recall the sunny. Mm. So, all these uh, pairing can be randomized. Only the, uh, uh, you will be given uh, cues and then you have to recall the target word. Okay. So, I will give you the list of words. Mm. You just read loud. And then after once you are done, then we will uh, give you two seconds of break and then you can recall these. Okay? You can write. Okay. So read loud these paired words. Small city, boring movie, hungry snake, huge fish, noisy restaurant, empty cup, expensive shoes, torn pajamas. Okay. So, now this is how um, these two words are there. You will be given a cue and then you have to recall the target words. Okay? Okay. So, these are the cues.
Okay. So, so what we see here that you record all uh, the words very well, uh, which is very good because uh, people who have deficiency with memory cannot recall this association because um, storing the memory uh, requires hippocampus but it is uh, connected with frontal cortex so these two connectivities are involved so anyone who has deficiency in frontal cortex cannot recall anyone who has deficiency in hippocampus cannot also recall so this simple test is used to uh, test human memory uh, but it seems that uh, you have performed very well so okay, thank you you saw that all eight word pairs were successfully recalled by the participant Serial recall refers to recollection of items or events in the order in which they actually occur. Look at this lab session where nonsense syllables have been used. Uh, in this test, I will show you few nonsense syllables that is syllables which have been put together which do not have any meaning in them and you have to go through them and afterwards you will have to write them up. All right. So, let us start. Like First is X A T L I Q W X U Z F S S E D N Q H X O P S C W P R I J Z Y S P V P U Y Z L M W D Y R A Q P L S M X N T. Uh, now you have to write down all the nonsense syllables which you can remember from the list. Okay. So please write. We shall now see a lab session on digit span. This is the experimental demonstration of correct retrieval of various numbers shown to the participant. Uh, now I will uh, say a few numbers and you have to repeat them after me in the same sequence, right? 2, 7, 2, 7, 5, 9, 0, 5, 9, 0, 4, 8, 6, 1 4 8 6 1 7 3 0 9 4 7 3 0 9 4 2 4 9 6 5 8 2 4 9 6 5 8 1 4 6 8 2 5 3 I lost it. You okay. did six digits, so it's good. Uh, as we saw that in this case, the participant could read out six digits, and the maximum number of uh, digits a person can repeat is uh, the digit span of that person. And in this case, the digit span was six digits. One of the phenomena showing the effect of implicit memory is priming. When you read a word in a list and later if you are asked to complete a word string with the first few alphabets of that specific word, the probability of recalling that word is greater when it is primed compared to when it is not. Look at this lab session. Uh, now I will read out a list of few words. There will be two different lists, list A and list B. After I have read out this list, you will be told to recall list A. So please listen carefully. The words are flower mind, army, bad, want. This was list A. Now list B, smell, brain, navy, good, need. Now I want you to recall words from the list A. Army, okay. want, mm -hmm. uh, Mhm. Bad. All right. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now again, I will read out few words from list C and list D, and you will be uh, asked to recall list C. Right. The words are stem, 
memory, soldier, trouble, wish. That was list C. Now the list D. C E F, D A X, Y O V, V U X, W U B. Now you have to recall words from the earlier list which you heard. Stem. Right. Memory. Okay. Soldier. Mm -hmm. Trouble. All right. Wish. Okay. Thank you. Let us now see an experimental demonstration of recognition task using visual stimuli. Uh, this is a visual memory recognition test. You will be shown a card. Uh, you have to look at it carefully because it will be shown only for 5 seconds. After that, I will remove it and I will show you after some time another card and you will have to tell me whether both the cards were the same or different. Right. This is the image. Please look at it carefully. Okay. Uh, now you have to count from 1 to 100 loudly. Please do that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. 9900. Okay. Now I will show you another card. Mm -hmm. You have to tell me whether these cards are similar or different. Mm -hmm. So this is the image. Are they similar or different? Different. And what is the difference? Uh, the color of this image has changed. Earlier it was, uh, this was blue. and a Rectangle was blue. Uh, the mm. rectangle was blue and uh, the circle was, I think the circle was pink okay speech okay and the triangle was green okay all right okay. thank you so we can see that the earlier image had a red triangle purple uh, rectangle and green circle whereas the second image had a red triangle whereas green uh, rectangle and a purple circle so the colors of rectangle and circle were swapped so that was the difference between these two images. We will now see the case of immediate and delayed recall using complex figure test. Uh, this is a test of visual memory. Uh, this is its design. You have to uh, first copy it. You will be just uh, given this image and you just have to copy it. Okay.
now you have to recreate the same design from your memory right okay. Now that 30 minutes have passed from the first time you copied this design, I want you to recreate this design as much as you can remember. Uh, now I will read out a list of few words, there will be two different lists, list A and list B. After I have read out these lists, you will be told to recall list A. So please listen carefully. The words are flower, mind, army, bad, want. This was list A. Now list B, smell, brain, navy, good, need. Now I want you to recall words from the list A. Army. Okay. Want. Mm -hmm. uh, flower. Mm -hmm. uh, bad. All right. Mm, that's it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, now again I will read out few words from list C and list D and you will be uh, asked to recall list C. Right. Mm -hmm. The words are stem, mm -hmm. memory, soldier, trouble, wish. That was list C. Now the list D, CEF, DAX, YOV, VUX, WUB. Now you have to recall words from the earlier list which you heard. Stem, right? memory, okay. soldier, mm -hmm. trouble, All right. wish. Okay. Thank you. 